Mr. Baldessari, you've been making art for 70 years. Why are you still making art? So I can do interviews like this? <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Hey, Polly. What you up to? Oh, um, well, I was just trying to remember, where did we leave off on Ear Snacks? What were we talking mm, about? It was... Oh, it was... Steps! That's right. Aha, that's right. Steps. And we were saying that a step is... An act or movement of putting one leg in front of the other and walking or running. Oh, thanks, Siri. Thank you, Siri. No problem, Andrew and Polly. We talked about steps like the way you walk. Step slowly or step medium? Fast walking. Speed. There are so many ways you can move. Running. Walk and skip and jumping. jumping. Hop. And steps like the way you dance. Oh, that's right. Sarah Reich stepped into our studio to tell us all about tap dancing. So one of my teachers used to say, if you can walk, you can dance. I know how to spin so fast I fall down on my bum. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Ah, you okay, Polly? Oh, sorry, Andrew. <laughs> I was just spinning around super, super, duper, duper, really, really a lot fast, and mm. then I fell down on mm-hmm. my bum. It happens. That happens to me sometimes, too. Polly. Oh, huh? What were you trying to say? Oh, before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was talking yeah, about how we realized that... That word steps is one of those words that could have more than one meaning. Mm -hmm. And we thought, if a word can have one meaning, Mm -hmm. if a word can have two Two meanings, meanings, then a word could have lots of of different different meanings. meanings. And steps is definitely one of those words. Mm -hmm. It means tons of stuff. So many things. Like... Stairs? Oh, stairs. A flat surface, especially one in a series, on which to place one's foot when moving from one level to another. Downstairs, upstairs, outside, inside. Like the Statue of Liberty has 354 steps. Yeah, totally. Or, or you know what? It could be... What? Tell me. I want to make Play-Doh. I have a plan. First of all, we got to do this. Step Second one. of all, we got to do this. Two. Third of all, well, then we three. got to do this. Fourth, we got to take a break for a snack. Ooh, that reminds me of this Lego project I'm doing. Steps are directions. Steps are the things you have to do right. A measure or action, especially one of a series taken in order to deal with or achieve a particular thing. Wait, I forget. Why, why am I making a Lego project again? Oh, oh, well, that's right. We're talking about steps. Siri, what else do you know? <laughs> you know anything about John Baldessari? <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Right? Yeah. Here's what I found. John Anthony Baldessari is an American conceptual artist known for his work featuring found photography and appropriated images. Like John Baldessari, he puts stickers on things. John Baldessari, who we sang about in our Balfabet song in the Balls episode of Ear Snacks, is a conceptual artist, like a really big one. He's six foot seven. He is six foot seven. He's also known as the godfather of conceptual art, a surrealist for the digital age. And he puts stickers on things. Andrew, you had me at stickers. Let's give him a ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. We're calling Mr. Baldessari. Ring, ring. John, are you there? Yeah. We know lots of little kids who like to make art, and we were wondering if a kid out there is also interested in in making art and wants to become an artist, what's the first step? What should they do? I'll figure it out, you know, what they want to do with art. You know, if it's conceptual art, they don't have to do anything. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if it's paint, then they have to paint. You know, drawing, they have to draw. So when you have had a big idea for a project, how do you know where to start? Like with the Iceberg series, how did you come up with that idea? Uh, well, I, I, I guess I was reading Moby Dick on that one. Oh, okay. So something like a book might inspire you. Well, in that case, yes. When you're doing a project like that, do you know all of the steps before you get started? 
I learned by doing. I mean, I start, you know, and uh, I know I'm going to have images of icebergs. I have to get images of icebergs. And when I decided I wanted to have them painted, and so I got a mountain to paint them. And then that's what you get in there. Does something unexpected ever happen that changes what you do or how the art comes out? No. No. If there are, they're not imp that important, you know. I mean, no more than you, you know, putting the wrong shoe on the wrong foot, you know, and then you just put it on the other foot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I will make another one. Try again and again. So when you're making art, how do you know when you're done? When I... Take my hands off of it and fly it away. Because it looks the way you want it to. I think of what my mom would tell me. She, she would say, you're done. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, do you remember making art as a kid? I don't know where I did it, but I remember doing it in school. I'd have to draw, you know, flowers and still lives, that sort of thing. Do you remember the first piece of art you ever made? Yeah, I think I do. It's some colored dots on a piece of paper, red dots. Probably, you know, it suggests it's throwing balls in the air. <laughs> Which is actually not far from what you ended up doing many years later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. How do you know if you like something when you've finished it? I just try to do something I, I like, and I... Hope other people like it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Baldessari, you've been making art for 70 years. Why are you still making art? So I can do interviews like this. <laughs> well, thank you for taking the time to make it. And thank you for being willing to talk to us today. Thank you. How to teach an alien Hello. to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, yum, yum. Okay, alien. First of all, you're going to need your materials. Uh, okay. Let's see. You need bread, uh -huh. jelly, uh -huh. you're going to need a plate, you need a knife, um, you need peanut butter. Uh, okay, okay. Now put the peanut butter and the jelly on the bread. Okay, a jar of peanut butter and a jar of jelly on the bread. Aw, oh, alien, you smushed the bread. You put the jars on top of it. You said peanut butter and jelly on the bread. Uh, okay, all right. Well, okay, so the next step, you actually need to unscrew the jars. So unscrew the jars. Oh, unscrew, okay. Great, okay. Now spread the peanut butter on the bread. Uh, okay, spread the peanut butter. Uh, no, now you're just rubbing the open jars on top of the bread. You gotta use a knife to take the peanut butter out first. Oh, okay. Take the knife and take the peanut butter. Good, okay, now spread the peanut butter from the knife onto the bread. Okay, thank you. Spread Oh, onto alien, the bread. you're spreading the peanut butter just on the crust. Just said spread on the bread. I guess I didn't specify. Spread the peanut butter from the knife onto the middle of the flat side of the bread, part of the bread. Oh, way to go, alien. That's yeah. perfect. Good job. Okay, now add the jelly. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. With a knife. Okay, take some of the jelly uh -huh. from the jar uh -huh. with the knife. Spread that jelly onto the middle of the other piece of the bread, the bready part of the bread. Uh, okay, okay. Spread jelly. Oh, oh, very good spreading, Alien. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You've been following all the steps properly. Okay, okay, now for the final step, put the pieces of bread together. Ah, uh, oh, you put the bread sides together with the peanut butter and jelly phasing out. Yeah, put the bread together. Now your alien hands are all sticky. Uh, uh, tentacles. Huh? Uh, I have tentacles. You, oh. Okay, well, anyway, the last step is clean up, so can we get an Oshibori over here? Steps! You are listening to Ears. Radio. Welcome to Ear Snacks. I'm Andrew. And I'm Polly. Have you ever done anything that was more than one step? 
I built a Lego building and lots of stuff. A Lego ship? Wings that grew very, very fast. Wow, so how'd you do that? We take some Legos and build it to something. Hmm, what about when you're cooking? Are there any steps Ooh. to cooking? Like, how do you make... Pie? <gasps> pizza. Ooh, I love pizza. Oh, pizza's a great example. So, um, first of all, you... Make dough. Mm-hmm, and then... Put on the sauce. Oh, yeah, right. And then... You put on the cheese, and then you put on the toppings. And then... And then you're done? Then you just eat it? Mm-hmm. You put it in a pan oh. and cook it up with what it needs in it. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, you gotta cook it first. I hate to wait for that, but it definitely makes it more delicious. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if there are any, like, big projects you guys are working on that have lots of different things you need to do before they're done. You mean something that has, like, a lot of steps, Andrew? Yeah. We yeah, know what steps are. Right. Working on 100 paper planes. 100? Oh, my goodness. Can you tell me some of the steps to make 100 paper planes? We fold it. Fold it? We do lots of folds. <gasps> do you just use regular paper? You cut things out. Oh, you cut You it. have to fold it, and that would be very, very, very hard for me. Ooh, what does that mean? What happens if a big project is too hard? You might not make it the right way. Hmm, what could you do then? You ask someone to help. Oh, who could we ask for help to make paper airplanes? Hmm. I know how to make paper airplanes. That's right! Malcolm knows how to make paper airplanes, and he showed us the steps he uses to make them. You fold it in half. Here, I got you paper so you can think while you do it. So first you grab... First... You fold it in half. Yeah. Then you fold, fold the edges down to the middle. Mm-hmm. And then you fold it, the edges down to the middle. Can you do that again? Again. And then you fold it in half. And then fold it sideways. Huh. Is that one done? Yep. And then you fold the edges down. Okay. Thanks, Malcolm. So you listening at home, when you're making something, how do you know how to make it? Because I have a book. I just made it before. I follow the step. You just follow directions. Oh, directions. That's a good idea. Where do you get directions? On mommy's phone or something else. Recipe books. What if it's tricky to follow the steps? You ask someone to help. Like who? Your parents, teachers. Or a friend, like Malcolm? And what if it still doesn't look right? I will make another one. Try again and again. And that's our show. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the friends who are on this episode of Ear Snacks. Sadie. Malcolm, Ella, Jonas, and Malena. Thanks for stepping up. A big thank you also to art legend John Baldessari. I cannot, Andrew, I just can't believe he was on our podcast. <laughs> he was. He was here briefly. I cannot believe John Baldessari was on Ear Snacks. Maybe he heard about the song and he had to be on. Maybe. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mr. Baldessari. Thank you. And here's one of the hidden steps you might not know about in ooh, podcasts. Ooh. But someone named Patrick Pardo. <gasps> that sounds like a superhero name. He's a total superhero. He really is. And he helped coordinate getting Mr. Baldessari on the show. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks, Patrick. And thanks to all of you for writing and saying hello and wanting to be on Ear Snacks. 
If you want to say hello to us, the first step is by visiting earsnacks.org. Earsnacks.org. That's where you can find out more information about us, the show, and how to be on it. Step you later. Step you later. Step you next time. Don't step on a crack or you'll have a friend named Jack. Step up to the streets. I like that movie.